Hi guys and thanks for watching again. Today I will be demonstrating how I make my own DuPont cables, which are these cables with these tiny connectors at the end. And in order to create my own cables, I bought these pliers, these connectors, which I order in bags of a thousand pieces each. And this is how they look when I kept it in focus. There we are, somewhat. That's a single connector. And I bought a whole bunch of these housings, which come in pieces of four and three, two, and of course the single ones. And now you can do this in all kinds of different ways, but I found that the method I will be showing you was by far the most easy. First of all, you need a piece of wire. And let me cut off a piece. And then you need it to strip it a very, very tiny bit. So where did I leave my stripping pliers? Oh, there. Not here, that's strange. So I'll strip them in the way I always do. And this is probably a little bit too much. Um, but to make it easier for yourself when you're doing this for the very first time, you can put a tiny drop of solder on the inside of the connector. So let me show you that. And of course, I will be showing you the way I do it without soldering, but when you do it, soldering is by far the easiest way to learn how to make these cables, these connectors. So there we are, there's the connector in my third hand. Um, a tiny piece of, well not a tiny piece, just a tiny drop of solder. Clean my tip first. There we go. And thin the wire, of course. And of course, now the connectors are sticking to my hand. Just make it a tiny bit shorter and then solder it in. Just as far as the insulation just hits the cable. Let's see. Oh, my hand is a little sweaty because it's probably a little bit too warm inside. But that's how I connected it. Uh, by soldering it, of course. And now I'm going to use these pliers. The trick is, of course, to use the smallest hole and put it in the, this position. Of course, when I pinch, uh, pinch it all the way, it releases and then goes back open again. So put it in the first position. Stick in, let's see if I can get that on camera. Stick in the connector like this. And shove it in until it touches that notch over there. And then we're done. Then crimp it a little bit. And then, then I made, made a mistake because it rotated and it should not rotate. So I should mind that it does not rotate. And there we go. And there we are. That looks easy, doesn't it? So, um, of course, I soldered it, so it, it's, of course, it is easy. Um, but I also found that these pliers make the, the uh, connector a little bit too wide sometimes. And I've already put this on a very uh, low gripping setting. Don't know how that's this thing is called, but it's almost at the uh, ne most negative side of this setting, so... Um, and then when I just slide it in one of these connectors... There we go. And you don't know if you heard that click sound, but that's, that's good. You should, should hear the click sound. So now let's do the other one. 
another one. Strip it first. <laughs> With my front teeth when there is no wire stripping pliers in the neighborhood. And I'm not going to solder these. I'm not going to thin it either. So what I need to do then, do the exact same thing, but now do it the other way around. And let's see if I can get it in focus. There we are. Just pull it towards my head, towards my hand until it reaches that notch. Then crimp it, still holding it. And then a little bit more. There we are. Now it's stuck in there, can't go anywhere. So I can just put this on my desk. Cut the cable, of course, twist the inside wires a little bit. Shove it in there. There we are. And finish it. Let's see if it I can get it in focus. There we are. And now I want this in focus. Don't know if that's going to happen. There you can see this tiny bit of insulation crimped with it, and that's that's good. It's nice and solid. And what I was saying, what I was trying to say actually, these pliers sometimes tend uh, to make this connector a little bit too wide, so it won't go in the housing very easily. But it it looks good now. Yo. No, it doesn't. It doesn't look good. It isn't good. So what I do, just pinch this a little bit, just a tiny bit, and then try that again. Of course, it's, it's good to know how, how these slide in. You see, this one looks like that. Tick, and that's done. And that's how I make my own DuPont cables. So let's see if there are any good. Um, of course, these are the headers. You can also buy them on, on eBay, of course, uh, for, for very, very little money. They're very cheap. So I put this on here and it works perfectly. Let's, let's see if I can measure the continuity. So let me get my multimeter one moment. So the multimeter is on continuity. So let's see if I did a good job making this cable. Great. So that was a success. So I'm not saying that this is the perfect way, um, even because, uh, yeah, like I said, I sometimes have to make the connector a little bit smaller. But this is the way I found is the most easy. So. Yeah, that's how I do it. Thanks for watching.